In this module, we will cover instrument source selection, CRT selection, and other flight instruments. Let's first discuss instrument source selection. Source selectors are located on the captain's and first officer's panels. Captain's source selectors select the reference sources for the captain's PFD and ND. The first officer's source selectors select the reference sources for the first officer's ND and PFD. The selectors select the flight director source, navigation source, EIU source, IRS source, and air data computer source. Now let's discuss each selector in more detail. The flight director source selector is used to select which flight control computer, FCC, provides the required commands. The left, center, or right flight control computer can be selected. Normally, the captain's flight director selector is set to the left flight control computer, and the first officer's flight director selector is set to the right flight control computer. The navigation source selector is used to select the flight management computer source for navigation information. The left or right FMC can be selected. The CDU positions of the navigation source selectors are used to select the FMS CDU for standby navigation. The captain can select the left or center CDU. The first officer can select the right or center CDU. Standby navigation is covered in the standby navigation module. Normally, the captain's navigation selector is on the left FMC, and the first officer's selector is on the right FMC. The EIU source selector is used to select which EFAS ICAS interface unit is providing processed airplane systems information to the PFD and ND. The left, center, or right EIU can be selected. EIU selector also has an auto position. The auto position allows automatic selection of an operable EIU if an EIU fails. The auto position of the captain's selector selects the left EIU. If the left EIU fails, the center EIU is automatically selected. If the left and center EIUs fail, the right EIU is selected. The auto position of the first officer's selector selects the right EIU. If the right EIU fails, the center EIU is automatically selected. If the right and center EIUs fail, the left EIU is selected. Normally, the captain's and first officer's EIU source selector is in the auto position. The captain's PFD and ND receive information from the left EIU, and the first officer's ND and PFD receive information from the right EIU. The inertial reference system source selector is used to select which inertial reference unit provides inertial information to the PFD and ND. The left, center, or right IRS can be selected. When required depending on system status, switching is automatic and independent of the source select switch position. Normally, the captain's IRS selector is on the left source and the first officer's selector is on the right source. The Air Data Source Selector is used to select which Air Data Computer, ADC, provides information to the PFD and ND. The left or right Air Data Computer can be selected. Normally, the captain's Air Data Selector is on the left source 
and the first officer selector is on the right source. The ICAS advisory message, Source Select, is displayed if the captain and first officer reference the same source. Question. Answer B is correct. Let's discuss heading reference selection. Heading and track are reference to magnetic or true north. The reference is displayed on the PFD and ND. The heading reference switch is located on the center instrument panel. The heading reference switch supplies information to the PFDs, NDs, Autopilot Flight Director System, and the Flight Management Computers. The true position of the heading reference switch selects True North as the reference. The normal position of the heading reference switch selects Magnetic North as the reference between 60 degrees south latitude and 73 degrees north latitude. Now let's discuss CRT, cathode ray tube selection. There are six cathode ray tubes available for displaying various information. They are the outboard, inboard, upper, and lower CRTs. If a CRT fails, switching is provided to regain lost information. The CRT selectors are located above the CRTs. There is a selector for each inboard CRT and two selectors for the lower CRT. Let's examine each selector in detail, beginning with the inboard CRT selector. When the inboard CRT selector is in the normal position, the inboard CRT displays the ND. If the inboard CRT selector is in the normal position and the outboard CRT fails, the PFD automatically transfers to the inboard CRT, replacing the ND. If either inboard CRT selector is placed in the PFD position, the PFD is transferred to the respective inboard CRT. The ICAS position of the inboard CRT selector displays the secondary ICAS display on the inboard CRT. Both the upper and lower CRTs fail. Selecting ICAS on an inboard CRT selector transfers the primary ICAS display to that inboard CRT. If both upper and lower CRTs fail, selecting ICAS on the captain's inboard CRT selector transfers a primary ICAS display to the captain's inboard CRT. Selecting ICAS on the first officer's inboard CRT selector transfers the secondary ICAS display to the first officer's inboard CRT. When the lower CRT selectors are in the normal position, the lower CRT displays the secondary ICAS. If the lower CRT selectors are in the normal position and the upper CRT fails, primary ICAS information automatically transfers to the lower CRT. If 
either lower CRT selector is placed in the ND position, the respective ND is displayed on the lower CRT. If both lower CRT selectors are placed in the ND position, the captain's ND is displayed on the lower CRT. If either lower CRT selector is placed in the ICAST primary position, the primary ICAST display is transferred to the lower CRT. If ICAST primary is selected on either lower CRT selector, that selector has priority and the lower CRT display is the primary ICAST display. Compressed synaptics remain available. Finally, let's discuss the other flight instruments. Other flight instruments are the standby compass, standby attitude deviation indicator, ADI, airspeed indicator, and altimeter. Two clocks and a radiomagnetic indicator, RMI, are also provided. The standby compass displays magnetic heading. A self-contained standby attitude indicator powered by the battery bus provides attitude information. A failure flag is displayed if the attitude is unreliable. The standby airspeed indicator displays uncorrected airspeed from the auxiliary pitot one and alternate static source. The standby altimeter displays uncorrected altitude from the alternate static source. The barometric setting control allows settings in hectopascals or inches of mercury. Clocks are located on the captain's and first officer's panels. A clock switch for each clock is located on the glare shield. The clocks provide GMT, date, elapsed time, and chronograph functions. Pushing the date switch displays the date. The day, month, and year are alternately displayed. The set switch is used to set desired time. If GMT is displayed, the run position runs the clock. The hold position holds the clock at the displayed value. The minutes SLU MS position updates GMT minutes. And the hour SLU HS position updates GMT hours. The set switch can also be used to set desired date. If date is displayed, the run position displays day, month, and year. The year Y position updates the year. The month M position updates the month. And the day D position updates the day. Elapsed time is controlled by the elapsed time switch. The run position starts the elapsed time display the hold position stops and holds the elapsed time, and the reset position resets the elapsed time display to zero. The chronograph switch starts, stops, and resets the chronograph. Chronograph seconds are displayed by the sweep second hand, and chronograph minutes are displayed in the ET CHR display. The clock switch on the glare shield functions the same as the chronograph switch on the respective clock. The chronograph minutes display has priority over elapsed time display. Elapsed time continues to run and will display after the chronograph is reset.